Yeah, and the next the next thing is you're eventually going to have to supply them with about ten thousand gold. Oh, excellent. That'll, that'll take forever. This is a bad room to be in right here. This is just Pretty terrible. Much. Well, you don't want him to shoot the crossbow, boy. I think at this point I was trying to kill them before he had a chance to kill that crossbow yet. Yeah. yeah, this isn't going to be good. And then, yeah. Because he starts shooting penetrating arrows eventually. Which yeah, means that's... he just kills all more monsters and gets even stronger. Yeah. So, you, there, are th there are three kinds of arrows that you can have in this game. There's, um... Wooden arrows that you have right now, and the iron arrow that you just picked up. You can also find silver arrows that penetrate, but I, I, I've never really been able to get much good use out of the penetrating ones. Penetration seems like a situational buff. Like, it's not something you'd want to wander around with, but if you have it in your back pocket, there are cases where it can be helpful. Mm hmm. Now that I know what it is and what it does, and I won't be throwing my pots through the walls anymore. <laughs> and if you're really going to play the item ID game, that's an aspect you can, you can, like, you can rule out penetration by putting an unknown bracer on and trying to throw something at a wall. Yeah. So I, I, tr I tend to not do that when I play roguelikes just because that's really labor-intensive and difficult. Oh god, it's this little girl again. <laughs> I do though. Sometimes I'll be like playing net hack or something, and I'll be doing something really dumb, and I'll be thinking, if DT sometimes here watching me, he'd be really disappointed. Uh, I do dumb things all the time, <laughs> like like holding down the arrow key to move through Jubilex's swamp or something really stupid. Okay, I I learned my lesson, and I don't do that one anymore. <laughs> See, I learned my lesson, and I still do it just because so, I'm lazy. The the thing is, there are other ways to do it that are. Uh, just as lazy, but safer. Yeah, you can use the G key to kind of move around, but... It's, the G key works, shift direction works. If you press 5 and then the direction... Uh, uh, I assume you're using the numpad. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, the VI, VI keys are for chumps. And actually, I before I solve my controller issues with Shiren, I briefly considered just binding all the keys for the emulator to the numpad <laughs> so I could play it that way. But I ended up fixing my controller and didn't have to do that, which is for the best. But yeah, 5 and then the direction uh, is also fast travel. What kind of fast travel? Because NetHack has a couple different kinds of fast travel. I don't remember. And anybody who hasn't played NetHack is thinking of fast travel in terms of, like, I don't know, Skyrim or something. It's like, how can you have more than one kind of fast travel? No, you do. NetHack is just that complicated. Yeah, it's like, um... There's one kind that will that will uh, stop if you see a monster. There's another kind that'll stop if you're right next to a monster. There's another kind that'll stop if you're near the entrance of a corridor. And there's a I, kind. There's a kind that like won't stop at all. Like it'll just try to pathfind to the square you you say, and if you die in route, that's your luck. Yeah, I, I've, I've never bothered learning the differences between them. Here's that Chrono Trigger song. It's like, I don't know how I managed to, for years, I thought those two songs were identical. Because I, I don't think I'd ever played Chrono Trigger and Breath of Fire 3 at the same time at any point in my life, so it never occurred <laughs> to me. Well, Breath of Fire 3 is also another game I've never played. I didn't play it for years, because I owned it on PlayStation years ago when it was new, and I loved it. It was a great game. But then I, like, pawned it or got rid of it somehow. And then it came out on PSP, but they didn't release it in North America. So I actually had my buddy Sovin Jedi buy it for me. He's in the UK, and he shipped it to me. Yeah. I, I kind of... I may have missed it because I, uh... Oh, a doppelganger staff. I love the clone staff. I think this is the first time I used one, too, as an escape item. And it worked so well, and I was so happy. You have to be a little bit careful with that, because monsters will still monsters are going to attack the, your doppelganger, and if they kill the doppelganger, they promote. Right. Well, I think at this point I was like, okay, I've got this stupid little girl, and I'm just gonna gun it. I'm just gonna go for the stairs, screw everything else. I think that's that's the mindset I was in here. 
Yeah, there's there is a there is a point in this game where you usually just want to say screw it and go for the stairs. Um, if you're if you're trying to unlock the storehouse, the, it, this might be the this might be the time. Although usually usually I think it's a little bit later. Have you have you been to the swamp yet? Um, not very long. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I haven't. I've just started learning the swamp. I'm just, that's where that's where I'm at in my current game state. Is I'm learning to work my way through it. Um, I don't think I've. I don't think I get there in this session. I think I did in the previous. Like there's a video on YouTube right now that people have already watched where I got to the swamp and ran around. But yeah. Uh, but I was so low on resources that there was. There, I knew there was no getting through it. The swamp isn't act well. Uh, uh, this is. This is I, the... I, I can't see. Uh... Oh, I guess I, I guess if you have a slumber scroll, you can you might be able to make it to the exit. <laughs> I might have actually fallen out of my chair when I stepped into this room because I was being so careful <laughs> with this little girl. She's like a she's like a porcelain rose. Yeah, I I'm I'm going since you're sticking around and fighting, I'm going to imagine this run isn't going to last much longer. <laughs> This is one of those because, things that I will do in NetHack, and I'm thinking, Dukeson would just be so... He would just come behind with a newspaper and swat me. <laughs> <laughs> like, gonna... See, the thing is, monsters eventually wake up from a slumber scroll, and when they do, they have double speed. Yeah, and this is this is where I learned that. Right here. So, uh, it's a useful item, but what you want to do when you read it is you when you ha when you're in a situation like this is you want to read it and then you want to run the hell away from everything and just that, make your way to the stairs. See, that is an excellent idea. And I really should have done that. That sounds like it would be very smart. <laughs> and sometimes, sometimes you can deal with these monster houses. Uh, there's a particular item. It's called the Blast Wave Scroll in the DS version. I don't know what it's called in this one. Does it attack all the monsters in a room? Yeah. It's called Air Slash. Oh yeah, Air Slash. So, uh, you're still at the point in the game where Air Slash would kill everything. I don't remember if I have one on me or not. Because I did learn that the Air Slash scroll will damage your little girl. That is not fun. I didn't know that. Although I think I, I, think I never actually read those in, 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 in a situation where I'm not alone. I, know, I think I only ever read them when I'm alone, though. So this is where I had to learn to, uh... Oh, and then I, I thought I lost my little girl again right there because the guy teleported her away or whatever. But yeah, I, will say, I will say this. You're, you're, I didn't expect you to live this long. <laughs> thank, thank God for that cloning staff because if not for that, there would have been no chance. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I think at this point you're probably going to live. <laughs> Which is a lot more than I thought would happen. <laughs> you, I'm just as surprised as you are. So, yeah, there are two major uh, escape scrolls for uh, situations like this. One of them is the sleep scroll, which has the risk of them waking up and being at double speed. Right. The other one is the confusion scroll. Oh, there I just got an air slash scroll, so now I've got one. <laughs> and then my little girl found me again. And yeah, she's at double speed now, too, I just noticed. <laughs> <laughs> she was asleep for a while. Took a little nap. Yeah, the confusion scroll has the risk of just monsters punching each other and promoting. That and yeah, it, that sounds well because is it? It would be similar to conflict then from NetHack, which is yeah, the, be it's, the it's, best it's thing a ever. Like conflict. I love but conflict. The thing is, the, the thing to watch out for is that when a monster promotes, it breaks its confusion. Oh, see, the, yeah, that's awful. So not only do you have, he's no longer so controlled, he's, but now he's also much stronger and wants to kill you. Mm -hmm. If the monsters aren't densely packed, it's probably safer than the sleep scroll, though. And there's also, a, also when you're fighting the final boss, I'd also say that the confusion scroll is probably one of the things that you want to have when fighting the final boss. Well, see, someone else, I forget who, someone had recommended, like, throwing mammal meat at him. That, that's one of the, that's one of the ways to cheese him. 
because uh, mammal because mammal meat will uh, turn him into a mammal, <laughs> and then you just have the final boss is a mammal. And just for the record, I have absolutely no problem cheesing anything in a roguelike. I, I will I, use whatever exploit I have to to get what I need done, and I will not feel bad about it. Yeah, I, I'm mostly the same way, although I, if it's an obvious bug, I feel, I'll, I'll sometimes feel a little guilty abusing it. Oh, see, even an obvious bug, I don't feel guilty. Like the, uh, yeah, the, the naming really. glitch on the astral plane, oh, I know exactly where I need to go now. <laughs> nope, no qualms at all. Yeah, um, the thing is, that one's... That bug is actually patched on some public servers. Right, like on NAO. Yeah, so you can't get away with it there. Well, that's an excellent reason to not play on that server. <laughs> <laughs> you know, eke out any advantage you can from wherever you can find it. That's kind of my approach to roguelikes, because they're so hard. Well, some roguelikes are hard. There I've, are, there I've are never played an easy one, I'll put it that way. Yeah. Doom RL on the easiest setting, I would say, is... I, I don't know if I want to say easy, but it's very tractable, I guess. As, I guess is one way of saying it. Well, if it's... Okay, it's easy, but is it also still conducive to learning the game? Because if it's so easy that you don't learn anything, then it's almost not worth playing. No, it, 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 it's still something that teaches you how to play the game, because most of what most of what changes is monster generation depths. I see. So, it, when you're play, when you upgrade to a higher difficulty, it's not what it's not like what the heck arch vials hit for that hard now. <laughs> it's more like what the heck I have to fight arch vials this early. I see. So you you already know how you already know what arch vials can do, and you know what what how to deal with them. It's just you have to deal with them with not with uh, fewer weapons and tools at your disposal. I see. I, I, I really do need to sit down and play some of that, because it does look like a lot of fun. Yeah. This is how Kalir records his videos, doesn't he? He just, he, he always records them beforehand and puts the commentary in later? Yeah, pretty much. I he's... mean, this is, this is almost, ex this is almost exactly the same mechanism. Just upload unlisted and uh, record commentary via Skype and then add it in Add it in later. I, I see the benefits of it, but I'd much rather be recording live commentary. <laughs> Which, it's like, well, my, my first thought when I had this was like, well, okay, I've got this hour some odd long video, and I can't just pretend it doesn't exist. So, I gotta do something with it. Because <laughs> right now he's, that is an example, right now he's doing it with Roko-chan. Oh, yeah. And it's like, wow, that, that, I'd much rather be listening to live commentary playing Roko-chan, but... Well, it's it's kind of hard there because it's an action game, and, you know, speaking and uh, playing at the same time. Well, yeah, but you know that my Let's Play channel is almost exclusively action games. Well, yeah, but you have sort of... A, some of those are scripted commentary. Well, some of them, but... Some, some, of, some of them. And some of the, some of them are uh, live commentary. I mean, some of them are live commentary. The ones that I can script are the ones where, like Mega Man X4 is a good example. It's like I cannot play that game at that skill level and talk at the same time. I, just, yeah. I can't split my attention like that. So I can see why you'd have you'd want to do it that way, if you, especially if you're not really familiar with the game. Because I don't think Kalir was all that familiar with Rogue Chat. I think he only played it maybe once or twice. I don't know how many times he played it beforehand. Cause I'll, I'll be honest, when that game first came out, I played it like four times that first day. <laughs> I, I love that game. There's a leather... So that, that's something I'll keep in mind. A leather shield is good, even though it's weak, because... It reduces... It reduces your metabolism. Okay. I will file that away, then. See, it's more like... This is a more organic way to learn the game than just going to the, the Shiren Wiki and reading stuff. Yeah. Has just somebody a, who knows you, what you're talking about. You mean just playing about. it, or playing it and hearing, hearing stuff about it? Because <laughs> NetHack, I've got to have the wiki open. Because I know everything about NetHack now, but I still have to go reference things sometimes. Yeah. It's like, oh, what was the price of that scroll again? Isaac's the same way. I'll have to keep the webpage open just so I can look up what a weapon does or something. 